Okay, so here's another interesting little case from today with a client who'd noticed that there was something just a little bit strange with his vision. So having difficulty seeing targets in the sort of superior field. So finding sometimes he would see a target and then it would disappear. And again, his sort of symptom is classically this having an eye dominance problem. So if we have a little look at this, this is a classic 2D photograph of the back of the left eye. Now this little structure here, that's the optic nerve. These are the blood vessels, the veins and the arteries. And this hair area here, that's called the macula. So that's the area that's responsible for sharp central vision. Now, 2D photographs like this are pretty useful because we've got a physical picture of what the eye looks like. But more importantly, we need to be able to see what's going on underneath this surface. So the best analogy is to think that this is like the front cover of a book, but we need to see what's going on inside. So we need to look through the pages. So if we then go to this little scan here, I'm just going to come back a little bit. We've got a little post-it note up there for an anonymity. Now, all of these different layers here, all these little stripy bits are different layers of the retina. So what we're going to do is just play through the little video. And all of this is looking really nice and smooth, really nice and normal. All really nice and neat until we get to a point about a quarter of the way from the end. And what we'll start to see is some separation and some splitting in the layers of the retina. So this here is turning into a, into a schisis. So we're getting all of this stretching, splitting retina here, which is definitely not normal. So if we then go to the little heat map down here, we can see that this little hot spot, this little raised area, is commensurate with this splitting of this retinal layer. Now, it's always worth mentioning that whenever you've got an issue in the bottom edge of the retina here, you actually perceive it as a problem in the superior field, which is why this gentleman's got damage in the retina in the inferior aspect, but it's actually the top part of the vision where he's noticing the problem. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to refer this for a vitreo retinal, um, vitreo retinal opinion to see whether surgery is indicated or whether it's something that we can keep a, a monitor on and, and, and see what happens. But uh, yeah, another interesting case which came, comes in as an eye dominance problem, but is actually an eye issue that needs a little bit of attention.